Well, good morning to you. This is Ronnie and Jessica, and we're coming to you from the beautiful Brunswick, Georgia. Today we are headed to Florida. We're on a on our way to a cruise, and we're calling this trip the canceled cruise. We'll tell you more about that later. But right now we spent the night here in Brunswick, Georgia, and we're about to go into the Planet Fitness here and get our little workout on. And then we're going to head to Orlando, where we're going to stay two nights in Orlando. And then we're going to wake up in Orlando on the second day and head to Port Canaveral to get on a carnival cruise. And uh, we're excited. This is for our anniversary trip. If you follow along on the channel, you've seen that we take this trip uh, and do something a little different. Um, last year, we actually went in January, but we went uh, on a cruise too. So anyway, we'll catch back up with you in a little while. Well, we've uh, worked out, come back to our hotel, and we packed up, taking a shower, packed up, and we're gonna head to St. Simons Island, which is roughly about 20 minutes from Brunswick, Georgia. We're right off of I-95 right here. If you've ever been down I-95, down the, the uh, U.S. Eastern Coast line. So uh, we're gonna head to St. Simons Island, we don't really know what's there. We just wanted to look and see before we head to Orlando. So that's what we're about to do. See you when we get there. Well, we have made it to Florida. It's a beautiful day out here. We uh, left St. Simon's Island. And uh, wasn't really a whole lot to do there, but you can see that. But we stopped at the uh, rest stop here as soon as we crossed over into Florida. So we're just going to check this out right quick. Well, we made it to our place in Florida. We checked in. So, uh, we gotta find out about our next day. We booked our second day at a different place because we got some issues with our cruise. And I'm gonna tell you about that in a minute. So we are at Downtown Disney. We're Disney on Springs. Downtown Disney Springs. We're on the escalator here. About to go get us something to eat. Let me tell you about the cruise in just a minute though. So we are at Morimoto Asia. It's an Asian restaurant here in Disney Springs. And so I was gonna tell you about the Carnival Cruise. So the Carnival Cruise, we were on the Vista ship and it was dry docked uh, about 15, 30 days ago. Beginning of January. Beginning of January. And it was, we booked a three day cruise and it was supposed to be done. We were the, we're the first people that's supposed to be on it. So it was a three day cruise, leaving on Thursday. 
and coming back on Sunday. So we got a message uh, about two days ago saying that the cruise was delayed. They had trouble getting across the Atlantic Ocean with storms or whatever. So it's turned into a two-day cruise. So that's why I said our carnival cruise got canceled. So, so uh, we're gonna be on it for about 36 hours. So we're having extended time here in Orlando. We booked another day here before we actually get on the cruise. So it's a kind of a bummer, but uh, we're making the best of it. Uh, we're spending Valentine's Day here at this restaurant in Disney Springs, kind of romantic here. Then we're gonna go watch the fireworks at uh, Disney. And then we'll have tomorrow to kind of, you know, mess around, do other things. Hey right, guys, it is Thursday. This is the day we was technically supposed to get on the cruise. We're still in Orlando. So we're gonna get on tomorrow. And we're at um, an Orange Tabit. County Park in Tabit Florida. Butler it's called Preserve. Yeah, Tybet Butler Preserve. Preserve. And it's like a little nature hike. So we're just walking through the forest here, seeing some of uh, Florida's wildlife and nature, I guess. I'll turn you around and show you. All right, so we have, uh, we left the other one that we were, the other preserve that we was at, Tibet Butler Preserve, and we went and ate at this place called Tijuana Flats, which is kind of like a Moe's. It was very good, by the way. Went through an area called Windermere, um, Florida. Now we are in Oakland, Florida, at the Oakland Nature Preserve. Beautiful place here. So we are going in here to check out what it looks like.
Right, so we are leaving this preserve. We've been here roughly about, probably about two hours. We stayed at the uh, the looking point here for a long time. We ended up seeing five alligators, all kind of birds, really cool place. If you're ever in this area, if you're ever in Orlando, it's about 25, maybe 30 minutes outside of Orlando. It's in an area called Wintergreen. Is it Wintergreen? Wintermere. Wintermere. Yeah. No, that was the other area. We're in Wintergreen now. Winter Garden. Winter Garden. We're in Winter Garden. You need to come check this out if you like going out in nature and hiking and stuff. It's a very easy walk. I mean, if you have a stroller, it's a, it's a boardwalk from the start to the finish. And it goes through all this swamp marsh. It's a very easy, flat walk. Um, it's probably about, I don't know, three quarters of a mile out to the pier and back. But it's well worth it. Actually, guys, this little area is called Oakland, not... Windermere or not Winter Garden, but it's very close it's to those. Outside of Winter Garden. It's outside of Winter Garden, and this is Oakland because the name of the place is called Oakland uh, Preserve. So it's a pretty cool history. Uh, the lake that we were looking at was called Lake Apaka, Apopka, Apopka, Lake Apopka, and uh, the lake was uh, I don't know it was fished a lot, it was farmed a lot, and got contaminated. Um, there was a lot of um, efforts to restore it, and I think I read, um, I mean, it was waste, like human waste was dumped into this lake, and the phosphorus, mercury, nitrogen levels, all those were were, were high. They um, had a lot of flooded areas that used to be farmed. Um, some of the people that farmed citrus farms would dump waste into here, so um, all these people got together, the federal government and some some um, nonprofit organizations popped up and they um, they restored this place. And I think I read this is the fourth largest lake in Florida. So a lot of effort was done. And in 2022, the lake finally reached um, normal phosphorus levels. So uh, fish and stuff like that, safe to eat out of here. But um, it's pretty cool. All right, so we are leaving Orlando now headed to our cruise it's about 7 45 now we should be on the cruise by about 10 30 11 o'clock so we'll see you then all right we've made it to the parking deck about to go and get checked in Room 8396 on the Carnival Vista. So you walk in, you got some storage right here, a little ladder. The ladder is for a bunk that drops down out of the ceiling. This room is a balcony room, has a sofa seat there, has another cabinet right here with a safe and storage. Little refrigerator down here. Got a little dryer right here, hair dryer. Hello. Your TV, king size bed, balcony. So we are still on, we hadn't left yet, we just got here. We're still at port. See the parking deck. And this is Terminal 6 where we got on. That's where we walked on at right there. And this is a view from the other side. All right, let's see what the bathroom looks like. A shower curtain, throne. Uh, it's pretty much like your basic shower. It's like a corner shower. The last uh, cruise we was on was a carnival. I mean, a uh, carnival paradise, and it was. Uh, pretty much took up this whole side of the room. It wasn't a corner. She got um, vanity, sink, tissues. Got some little glasses Whew. to uh, rinse your mouth out when you do your toothpaste. And of course, you got a plug up here for your, in case you use your own hair dryer. And that's pretty much it. Room 8396, in case you was wondering what that looked like. The 8-4. 
on the eighth floor. Um, Carnival Vista. This is the aft, so this is near the back of the ship. So I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, it's a sensor in it. <laughs> Alright, we going we just got on ship. It's 1031. Our check-in time was between 10 and 1030. So we're gonna go ahead and check out Guys Pig and Anchor. It's kinda early, but we're just gonna go ahead and eat because it's not crowded right now. Then I'll take some mac and cheese. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and for this food. Thank you for watching over us, giving us a safe trip this far. Pray to us, be with us as we on this cruise, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. It says 96 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Mac and cheese. Try to call so long. Pretty good. You try this slow cooked beef. I like that. That's really good. I like pulled pork. A bar area. dining room we're upstairs this is on floors three and four
That looks neat. I don't think it is. Looks like they're working on it. So we in the main dining room now. So we done the um, laid out on the pool deck for a while, and um, that's pretty much it. We laid out on the back of the on the aft of the ship. And then we went up to the Serenity deck, which is a, an adult-only area, and we stayed there until we um, until we sailed away. We watched because it was at the very front of the ship, so we watched it sail away. Then what do we do? Went to a little giveaway show, and then we went to our rooms and got uh, dressed, showered, and got dressed for tonight. Now we're in the main dining room. I ordered. We both ordered roasted duck rolls for appetizer, and then I ordered barbecue salmon, some kind of emerald special that they have here with uh, andouille potato sweet potato hash and i got cheesecake and then she got, got salad yeah we got a cob salad to split and the and she got grilled chicken and the melting chocolate cake all right guys we have made it to the beautiful bahamas we're in nassau you can see back here look it's the carnival elation Me and Jess haven't decided yet what we're gonna do. We most likely are gonna stay on the boat. If we do get off, we'll probably get off around lunchtime or a little after and maybe go over here and just hit the new port, check out the shop and then come back. We're just gonna hang out here, we think. Well, it is 8.15 on Sunday morning and it's time to disembark. So now it's just a waiting game. We go outside in the hallway to our waiting areas and then we can disembark from the ship. Usually just takes a, an hour or so to kind of get in the vehicle and get going. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. We appreciate you watching if you ain't done it yet. Hit that little subscribe button. It's going to pop up right here. Also, there'll be a video that'll pop up right here. And one that'll pop up right here. Check out one of those videos. I think it'll be something that you'll like. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.